at long last, it is time to bring something new to this channel. It's time to bring something new. It's time to bring something that will bring people in. And I figured, hey, might as well. So let's hype up that volleyball, shall we? A little bit of background, though. I think you all need a little bit of background, you know. Obviously, all of you. Everybody came back from the Olympics, so there's that, you know. I don't care about the Olympics, and it's even harder to track in volleyball, you know, because teams, you know, are very individualized and everything like that. You know, it is what it is with that. But let me tell you, I – this is another sport that I got into when I was a kid. You know, seeing, um, I forget the men's team that I would always see, you know, on like Fox Sports Net, you know, back in like the early 2000s. But I remember Misty May and Carrie Walsh. Of course, now she's uh, Misty May trainer, you know, Carrie Walsh. That team just dominates, uh, you know, the international and the ABP tours. And I got to tell you, it was chef's kiss. Watched it to play volleyball. I mean, it was just immaculate play. We're talking the best, two of the best to ever do it. You know how many gold medals those two have? A lot. <laughs> A lot. But as I, you know, was reading up, and, uh, you know, I'd been interested due to the Pro Volleyball Federation, you know, coming to existence last year. I was in the other year. I was getting pretty interested, you know, or rather earlier this season, actually. Technically earlier this season, you know, or earlier this year, whatever. I, I was interested. So things, you know, things got pretty intriguing. Things got pretty intriguing as I kept, you know, you know, looking and stuff. PBF completed their first season with no trouble. Um, now they have seven teams right now. They're they're adding the Indian Knight, who again are you know kind of the same thing with the Fisher's Freight in the IFL. So, um, that that that's at least one team they're adding. Now there was supposed to be a team in Dallas. There was supposed to be a team in Kansas City. You can't add those teams, which is unfortunate. Um, but another league had also surfaced up, which I really didn't think too much about. I didn't think too much about. And it feels like the PWHL, in a way, in regards to, you know, these teams aren't named at all. So, you know, League One Volleyball is that league. But the weird thing is, is that, you know, ESPN is, you know, giving League One Volleyball their chance. You know, most of those games are going to be on ESPN Plus, though. But there's going to be some ESPN games, too. And then CBS, of course, you know, would like kind of likes to take smaller sports, you know, sometimes, you know, when it works out for them. You know, more so a conservative type, you know, company when it comes to sports deals. They took their chance on the PBF. And these two leagues are going to be battling back and forth for players throughout the entirety of of, you know, that they already are. They already are throughout the Olympics, past the Olympics, and into their seasons, which both will start around November, December, January. So around that time is when these two leagues will start. Now, the PBF actually, you know, just finished up a major event. They just finished up the Manhattan Beach Open. And I got to tell you, I did not expect this to be televised at all. I did not expect this to be on Ion first off, because again, the the AVP you know you know hasn't really been on TV in the last couple of years. You know, like I didn't even know they were on NBC. Like again, it's been like a decade. And watching the finals today, I gotta tell you, you know, keep in mind that you're seeing this on Monday. I watched the finals, both the men's and the women's. Ion did a great job. The CW is getting the next event, the last event of the year. We'll talk about that in a moment. You know, Theo Brunner, Trevor Carab, you know, they defeat Andy Banesh, 
Miles Partain in two sets. So both 21-18, um, 21-18, both of those are 21-18. And again, it was good. It was good getting back into it. In the women's game, you know, obviously the women's game went to three sets. So Taryn Cloth and Kristen Nuss, they defeat Betsy Flint and Julia Scholes in three sets. Now that last set only goes to 15. So just just keep that in mind, you know, 18, 21 in that first set, 21 to 17 by the number one group in the second set and the 15, nine in that last set. Again, really good stuff, really good stuff from the ABP. And the next event is going to be in Chicago and it will be televised by the CW. The finals will be televised by the CW on Labor Day Sunday. I'm excited. I am really am excited. A lot of these, you know, a lot of these teams are, you know, gearing up and they're being placed into the ABP's new idea of a league, which will travel around the country during the fall, which doesn't make any sense. I know they're coming to Dallas in November. They're coming to Dallas in November. Am I going to be able to go to that? No, because it's during the middle of college football and NFL season. No. Not going out the house for that. Not on a Saturday where there's college football. Not month not on an NFL Sunday. Are you insane? Come on, man. I don't I don't care, you know. <laughs> you know, oh, oh, well well you gotta postpone your fall wedding. Yeah, postpone those fall weddings. You know, save that the last the last day somebody should be getting married during football season is Labor Day. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care, man. I don't care. But yeah, the ABP is gearing up for their, you know, league and, you know, the tour that, you know, usually has like six to eight events each year is ending on Labor Day, which is good. Very good, in fact. Now, there's a lot of stuff that we have. There's a lot of stuff that we have to talk about here. There's a lot of more stuff that we have to talk about. Obviously, the summer is basically over. You know, so what about college volleyball? Oh yeah, both indoor and outdoor. We'll be talking about both on this channel. We'll obviously be talking about the ABP tour, um, not the league. Um, definitely the tour. I think is more interesting than the league. This is just an idea that the ABP has kind of put out for me. So I was all I was already kind of iffy, you know, on. We're playing beach volleyball in the fall. That doesn't make any sense, but all right. I mean, the rules are basically the same in both indoor and at A and beach. You know, college, I believe, goes to 25, you know, as far as sets go. And then, like, um, and then they go, they go five sets, you know, for the college game, I think. So, it, again, it's a little bit of an adjustment, but. There is going to be, you know, a couple of, and speaking of Labor Day, there's going to be some college volleyball. That's going to be very intriguing on Labor Day. The back-to-back -back defending national champions, my Texas Longhorns. Yes, I said my Texas Longhorns. What you thought? You thought this was going to be a Texas stand account here? We support the Longhorns and everything over here. But yeah, the Longhorns, Wisconsin, the Badgers, Minnesota, and Stanford will all meet up in Pfizer form. They'll all meet up um, Labor Day Sunday and Monday, and I'm going to be watching all four games. Two games are going to be on Fox. Two games are going to be on FS1. There's going to be a game in, you know, like after the PLL wraps up, there's going to be a game on ABC. There's going to be like, there's going to be some games on Saturdays on NBC. There's going to be, you know, plenty of college volleyball to get into. And another reason why is because the, the places just be jam-packed. I mean, Nebraska jam-packs the building for some college volleyball. They, 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 they pack it. Omaha, the Supernovas, you know, the professional team, they jam-pack the building. And I want to go to a volleyball game at some point. It might be like Athletes Unlimited, unfortunately, but, it's, uh, you know, because I don't really care for Athletes Unlimited at all, but, you know, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to talk about volleyball on this channel. Now, now, first things first, 
the national championship for the indoor game is on a Sunday during the NFL season. So you'll see me talk about the game, but it will be like late in the evening. So just just kind of just kind of you know don't worry about it. The beach um, national championship. Is gonna be it's gonna be um I believe it'll be either it'll probably either be Saturday or Sunday that first weekend of May. So you'll be seeing me talk throughout volleyball throughout the year, man. It's gonna it's it's gonna be a year round thing like I've done with the NBA. You know, don't expect videos like every single month though. You know, don't just don't expect that from me. Um there's a lot that's on my plate, you know, and I don't want to overload myself too much. I do want to make it strategic as far as making videos goes with volleyball. But again, college volleyball starts next Saturday. So, and the AVP League Tour starts on September the 14th, which is a Saturday, you know. Again, those games in Pfizer form. Will be on the first and the second of September along with the ABP Chicago Open. So if you're not watching either of those, you know, if you're not watching that showcase, if you're not watching the finals of the Chicago Open, what are you doing on Labor Day Sunday? Watching HBCU football? Because I'm not doing that. <laughs> watching uh watching the PLL quarterfinals, not doing that. We're, we're watching volleyball here, man. We're watching volleyball because it's on—it's actually on TV. That's one—that's for one thing. It's actually on TV. The other thing is, is that the explosion of this sport over the past couple of years has brought, you know, you know, I did, again, I didn't even expect, you know, Ion and the CW to even broadcast two of these. I didn't even expect this to be a thing. It just kind of randomly popped up, you know, on it. You know, I was looking at TV Passport the other day, which I used to kind of track, you know, what these networks are airing on the weekends. And I got to tell you, I didn't I did expect, I didn't expect what I saw. So I hopped in on it. And I'm glad I did because I watched some damn good volleyball today. I'm going to watch some damn good volleyball in two weeks. So, again... Don't expect, you know, too many videos, you know, like like every single month or every single week of the year. It's just it, there's a lot on my plate. You know, college football is coming back. The NFL is coming back. The NBA is right around the corner. The WBA is going to be wrapping up at some point. We'll be talking about the PBA eventually, you know, might add some other stuff on here, too. It just kind of depends, man, because, you know, you know what it's like. In the summertime, it's bare bones. In the summertime, it's bare bones, baby. But it ain't fit to be bare bones now because we're getting into the busy part of the year. So to all you college volleyball fans, to all you ABP Tour fans, to all of you that are going to be supporting League One Volleyball, to all of you Pro Volleyball Federation fans, welcome to Big Boy Sports. You will have a nice home here. You will have a nice home here. Join me on my journey to continue watching and covering a great sport that deserves as much love as some of the others I I give. And it's as much love as you need to give it. It's a lot. It's a lot of love. It's a great game. Both versions are great games. So from me to you, Big Boy Sports is signing out. We'll talk week zero of college football on Tuesday night. Take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon.